A family in Regina has found a treasure chest of sorts buried in their basement. We're talking about an unopened box containing a case of 197 OPG hockey cards. That's Wayne Gretzky's rookie year. And the box is up for auction and bidding is already approaching one and a half million dollars. Brad Hartling, the marketing director with PSA Canada, is a collectibles expert and he joins us now to answer all of our questions about this. Brad, thanks so much for joining us. Fascinating story. How does this sort of thing happen? Let's begin there. Yeah, no, it's a it's an exceptionally great story. It's fun. It's really nice to see something like this happen in the in the Canadian market again. Um, in in my opinion, did I ever think I would see it? No. Uh, to see something this pristine that was kept you know, since 1980 and come out in the condition that it did is remarkable. Okay, so I'm kind of excited about this because I watched the show uh, Antiques, Antique Roadshow. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> clearly the Gretzky card is the draw. So how many would be in there, do you think? And then how much does each of those cards actually go for in the open market today? Yeah, so if it was perfect collation, I believe it would be around 27. Wayne Gretzky's in the case. Uh, there's wow. 396 cards in the set and there's 16 boxes. So I think just over, yeah, 27 would be in the case if everything was perfectly collated, which usually is pretty close to that. So um, Gretzky rookies can start. If you had one that was on your bike spokes as a kid and was played with and gently used and enjoyed, they usually are around the five $600 range right now. Mm. And if you have a... If you happen to have one of the two PSA 10 gem mints, the last one sold for 3.78 million U.S., so just over 5 million Canadian. So that's very exciting. Wow, that, that is very exciting. 27 Gretzky cards. Um, who's in on the bidding for this? Yeah, so there's a lot of people. Right now I know of two people that are interested in obtaining it. Um, I've talked to them, this, one of them this morning, one of them yesterday, which was pretty exciting. Uh, so I think the bidding just went over 1.6 million now. I I fully anticipate it to. I mean, this is a one of a kind piece, and I can see it hitting two and a half, three million, or maybe even more. Um, who knows? It's going to be very exciting over the next uh, 25 days. Okay, so is it just the Gretzky cards that are uh, contributing to the value, or anything else in that set? Yeah, it, it's good that you mentioned that. There is 395 other cards in the set. The second card that is, is pretty cool, it doesn't have the monetary value of the Gretzky card, but it is Gordy Howe's last card. Um, so that usually, you can put it in perspective, that goes for about $40, $50 in a near mint condition. Uh, when a Wayne Gretzky in a near mint condition is about six, 7000 It's remarkable to think that this box had just been sitting buried in a basement for all these years, and now it's been uncovered. Do you think there are more treasures like this out there? I do. Um, you know, I've been a hobbyist my entire life, so I always like, I always like thinking that these are still out there. Did I ever think one of these <laughs> would surface? No, <laughs> but it's a, it's very exciting, and this is what the hobbies. It, there's so many people that treasure hunt, like you guys mentioned, but they're going to the flea markets on Sundays. They're going in attics. They're going in basements. Uh, always having the hope to hit the the jackpot. Um, this just shows that this stuff is still out there, and. It's remarkable, like I said, that this is in that condition, mm. but it's exciting. And I'm, I'm a true believer that there's going to be more and more of these finds that will continue to happen over the years. And I'm very excited that as I work with my position with PSA, that we get the chance to authenticate and grade um, so many of these okay, and Brad, treasures. You know, speaking about the condition, we don't actually know the condition of the cards because the package hasn't been open, right? So this is kind of like a, a chance for the bidder. Yeah, exactly. So I, my personal thoughts are the people that I know are interested would never consider opening them uh, to go for the Gretzkys. There is lots of people and lots of collectors that have lots of money that might take that gamble and go potentially to see if they can uncover the third PSA 10 that could be out there. But the, the value itself is being in the sealed boxes. It's a... Uh, like I said, it's a one-of-a-kind piece. So I have here with me now that I've had for quite some time, but we have a 19. This is an empty box that I was very happy to obtain, and we have this in our collection. Oh, so cool. Uh, yeah, so it's just an empty one with no packs inside, but it's uh, it's all part of that. So even the packs, the wrappers, um, I won't say the gum really has any monetary value, <laughs> but <laughs> you never know. All right, Brad Hartland uh, with uh, PSA Canada. Thanks so much for this very interesting conversation. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Brad.